I can't access the starter from back there. Yeah. So. You know, they say you got to have the right tool for the job. Well, we've got plenty of tools. We may have some jobs, so we'll try to make the, the two go together. Uh, I hope not. All right, folks, this is something we hope we will never have to use, but it's good to have a fire extinguisher nearby. Uh, bugs have been known to catch fire, um, so we'll just be prepared. I'm sure we won't need to use it, but better safe than sorry. This is the engine juice that our little beetle prefers, so we'll have this one on hand just in case.
I'm what you call fried. Oyster fried. Fried oyster. Fried oysters. <laughs> about what you found out about the issue that we're having with the bug. So I talked to my good friend Nate who has tons of VW experience and he said the bogging that we're feeling when we try to leave from a dead stop is a classic example of the bug just being slightly out of time. So uh, the solution of that is get a timing light uh, on the crank pulley and try to advance the timing this is going to sound a little bit nerdy, but we've got to put about 28 to 30 degrees of advance in the timing. And that'll snap old uh, Rosebug right out of her bogging issue and she'll be running great. So I think we're good to make it home with how she is right now. And once we get home, we'll adjust that timing. Tell us about your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. Uh, really? the best way to fix things in the Italian way is just give it throttle. It's called an Italian tune-up. If you want to tune it up, blow out all the carbon, get the car working good, just rev the hell out of it and that should fix it just right. So I don't know if old uh, Rosebug here is, uh, <laughs> is up for an Italian tune-up, but uh, we'll see how she goes.
just to snap it back. But it's not. Well, it's trying. It shouldn't. Oh, you know what? What? This, this vacuum line is getting in the way. Oh. Watch. Come over here and look. See how it gets hung up there? Oh, okay. So we well, need to you just need to adjust to, that. We need to move that. Try again. Try again. Yeah. Here's a recap of what happened last night. Um, we pulled into our motel and David went to get a car so that we could go for dinner and it wouldn't start. Um, cranked a few times and just would not start. So we think it's the spark plugs. Um, we've noticed that the car has been running a bit rich and potentially the spark plugs might be crummy so we have went to O'Reilly's last night to get some spark plugs but um, and tried to and we didn't really do anything but um, this morning the car started right up um, and 
now we are filling up some gas and we've decided that instead of going through the highway one we are going to go through 101 to make our way to crescent city today and hopefully the car will get us there today Hesitation. That was probably me on the key. I, uh, I left the key on a little too long. Okay. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah. The last mechanic made a mark of where he dialed in. Oh. What I did is I advanced it. So you see this top line is a little bit farther that way than where the mark is. I advanced it just a little bit from where the last mechanic had it. And the engine seems strong. So that's what I advanced the distributor by turning it counterclockwise. That way the spark comes a little bit before uh, top dead center. So I think that's what it likes. You know, I talked to Nate and Nate says, air cooled engines like about 28 to 30 degrees advanced. So I advanced the distributor a little bit. It sounds like it, it likes it. Then I, I backed off the mixture so there's not so much fuel. Then I set the idle speed a little bit stronger. The engine sounds I think it sounds great. It's yeah. A, it sounds the it sounds, happiest it's been in yeah. about three days. <laughs> I, I agree. Awesome.
Gas is cheaper in Oregon. I like. <laughs> down a little bit in oil. I'll put a little bit more in. We're not getting power to the starter. Potentially, the starter could be dead as well. Just yeah. decided 80 miles out from. Starters don't last forever. Starters fail. And I don't know how old the starter is. Maybe that's. They only have so many starts in their useful life. So maybe that last start in. Uh, Florence. Florence was its last gasp. <laughs> So we could, everything could be right. We could have power to the starter. The wiring is consistent and good, but the starter is just dead. That is a possible reality. Because we're not even getting a click, right? Mm -hmm. So the, um, it's not even actuating. 